Hello and welcome to The Bearded Dentist. Today we will be going over my build-up process. So, mine is a little bit more complex and some folks have asked me, but the main goal is to make the build-up melt into the tooth like you see here. Keep in mind this is not a final prep, um, but here we go. So, first thing we do is after we've prepped all the cavity, anything that's not perfectly healthy tooth structure, cavity, cracks, old filling material, fracture lines, any of that goes. Um, some stains will remain if you know there's no reason to remove it. But first thing I do is I scrub the teeth with a three-step process of 4% chlorhexidine, tubelessed blue, and then pure bleach. That's right, I put pure bleach on all of my crown, uh, my build-up preps and my crown seats before I seat them. Then I cover them, I slather them in etch. A lot of people aren't going to like this. Um, I do cover the dentin, I cover the enamel, I cover everything that I plan on putting a build up on with etch, um, but I only leave it on for about 10 seconds at the most because the tubules have already been cleaned off pretty much of the smear layer by the bleach. The etch is just to help a little bit with the bond. I really don't get any sensitivity problems. After that, I bone dry these teeth. Uh, when I went to dental school, bone drying was what we were taught. It's what I found works for me. Um, so I bone dry these teeth. And then I put some typical bond on there. Nothing special or fancy. But I slather that bond in all areas. Um, making sure to scrub it in. Get it all in the tubules and make sure you can see those desiccated tubules kind of fill up with that bond. Then that is air dried for quite a long time to make sure that no more fluid movement of the bond can be seen by the time I'm done. After that, we're going to cure each of those for 10 seconds. The curing lights nowadays are extremely bright. The lumens are incredible on these, so curing for 10 seconds is plenty sufficient for these. And then the buildup I use is called Form Core. It is specifically a buildup material. I absolutely refuse to use composite filling material for my core buildups for many reasons. Um, the main reason is that this core buildup material uh, light cures and time cures. So it's also very opaque as most core buildups are. And so that light can't penetrate so many millimeters down into, into those very thick um, core buildups. So that light is never going to make its way all the way down. So if I used composite that has to be light cured and it's a three, four millimeter deep core, the light's never going to make it there. So I have to use something that is going to be cured um, with time as well as light. I basically just cure the outer shell and then give the patient about a 10 minute break to let it cure all the way down. And you'll notice that all of my, I basically ice cream, cone, ice cream cone my preps. I fill up all the spaces in between the teeth with a buildup to make sure there are absolutely no voids um, in between the teeth. And so I'd like to prep teeth like this. When I've got three next to each other like this, I like to prep all of, you know, one side at, at a time on each tooth, uh, each tooth. So I will prep all of the buccal, all of the lingual, all of the interproximal pretty much together on each tooth. Um, we did not get a chance to film this entire thing, mainly because I just wanted to show the buildups, but this patient was, you know, prepping three teeth, doing three buildups. These were pretty difficult, and as you can see, he's got quite a bit of other work to do. Um, he was pretty, pretty burnt out by the end of this, even though this really only took me about 45 minutes from, from start to finish to do this. Um, but, you know, really... When you overfill with that buildup, it allows you to basically find your crown prep underneath. Um, you know, like you start with a large marble slab, you can build something beautiful underneath. I like to think the same for my crown preps. But let's review that three-step process. So the first step is 4% chlorhexidine, which is extremely more concentrated than your typical 0 0.016 or 0.016% that you would give someone as a mouth rinse. This chlorhexidine is pure chlorhexidine. It is meant to be only used by the dentist, scrubbed on, um, on the teeth for about three to four seconds max um, because it is so concentrated. After that, we use tubelicid blue. What tubelicid blue does is it gets all the way down 
into the tubules. It's, there's studies to um, support all of this. But anyways, that tubulicid makes its way all the way down to the tubule, kills any bacteria, any uh, microbes that have made their way into those tubules, and kills them all the way down to the end, terminal end of those towards the nerve. This really helps with sensitivity. It extremely helps with our bond, and it's the most important step. Finally, pure bleach. Yes, absolutely pure bleach straight out of Clorox bottle on those. That will help clear that smear layer, kill any remaining microbes on or around the teeth, around the area. Sometimes I scrub it on the gums, um, and that really kind of just blanket kills bacteria and gets rid of any other um, proteins or anything that are going to get in the way of that bond. Never have any issues with this. I do this daily all the time on every patient and uh, this three-step process and what I showed you guys really helps get these kind of nice beautiful melted in buildups that have a transition from tooth structure to build up and no white lines, nothing like that. These never fall out. So it's just wanted a quick video there showing my build-up process. Um, I thank everyone that has subscribed and likes these and comments. Um, even if you don't agree with everything that I do, I do appreciate your comments, and I would love to hear what you have to think. Thank you very much, and have a great day.